All right, Catherine. So, what made you choose the School of Built Environment at the University of Nottingham? Um, well, firstly, if, if if you're Nigerian, you don't choose the school. Uh, your parents do that for you. So, uh, my dad, he's done this four times before. He brought out his Times League table and circled the top ten because you have to go to the top ten universities, otherwise there's no no point in going to university at all. And he handed me the list and said, "Okay, fine, go research, go find out what one does your course." So I went round, I think there was a choice of Cambridge, UCL, Edinburgh, Nottingham and some others. Um, and I found out that Cambridge obviously is known the world over, but at that, that particular point, 2004, Nottingham was number one for architecture and Cambridge was actually number two, either number two or number three. And I thought any university that could beat Cambridge is definitely worth looking into. So that's why I, I looked at Nottingham. So after you joined the university, did you get what you expected to get from it? To be honest, um, I didn't really have an expectation of the course in architecture just because, I mean, you don't have a precursor to it in secondary school. You don't have like a, a law, uh, an architecture subject that you take. So it was, it was all pretty much like a blank canvas. But thinking about what I would have expected from a, a first degree at a university, I think I got more. Because I didn't realize that uh, we would have opportunities to, to travel, to visit other countries. Uh, to go on um, study field trips, uh, to have international sites, you know, so all that was, was really good in terms of um, cultural experiences outside of, of, of architecture.